So it's a great big heretical release week today. We've finally got the new Chaos Possessed and Accursed Cultists for the Chaos Marines. Codex Chaos Demons is coming and they've given us a preview of the contents. And there's a new Demon Combat Patrol made to order miniatures and dice. Let's talk about the details and the prices. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd go through this rather bountiful week for the Dark Gods. Loads of stuff coming out for Warhammer 40k, including plenty of stuff that people have been waiting for since the Chaos Space Marine Codex dropped, and it does seem that the Demon Codex will be this week. We've known that that's been the next book coming for 40k for quite a while now. So here's the rough overview of the 40k releases this week. These kits should be going up for pre-order on the Games Workshop web store on the 27th of August, so this Saturday, and they should be for general sale the week after that. We've got Codex Chaos Demons, the Chaos Demons Combat Patrol, the Chaos Possessed, the Accursed Cultists, the new Demons Dice, and several classic made-to-order kits coming back, including Horrors, Flamers, the Mask, Karanak, and the Beasts of Nurgle. Perhaps their biggest omission seems to be that there's no Chaos Demon Prince coming this week, just while we're on the subject of heretical things and plastic kits, I just wanted to briefly talk about this channel's monthly giveaway for the Horus Heresy box set. I did mention it a few times before in channel posts and another video or two, but this channel's monthly giveaway will be for this Age of Darkness box set, the Heresy Era one that can be used both by loyalists and traitors in 40k, 40 Beaky Marines, 10 Relic Terminators, a Contempt to Dreadnought, characters, and the massive Spartan tank. Could be potentially an interesting way for starting a Chaos Marine force in 40k, if you did want to go down a bit more of a less mutated and industrial aesthetic. As always, with these giveaways, there's two different ways to enter, links down in the video description. You can either support the channel's Patreon page for any amount, that gives you guaranteed entry each month, or you can support the channel on social media, subscribe to the YouTube and like the Facebook page, and then to enter the draw, the post appears on the 1st of September. Reply to the post with a photo of any 40k mini or other imagery, alongside your name and the date handwritten in the photo the last bit just to deter Facebook bots and spammers. From there, the draw's done with a random number generator and announced on the channel update video around the 4th of each month, and I'll post out these big boxes of heresy goodness to whoever wins. I do further giveaways each and every month. I'm sure we'll have some other interesting and most likely heretical kits coming in the future. Feel free to check out the Patreon or the Facebook, links down in the description. In any case, let's get back to the contemporary 40k version of Heresy, where you're more likely to be possessed or worshipping some great big demons. First up, perhaps the slight disappointment of the week is that there's no Demon Prince coming. This Demon Prince kit really is quite hotly anticipated. It does look really quite nice, I think, and there's parts that you can see here to field it as basically a 40k Demon Prince. Though there's loads of options for customising the head to the different Chaos Gods and fielding it with wings and different armaments like this gun. Looks like that won't be dropping alongside the Chaos Demons Codex, as I previously guessed it might have been. It will be coming alongside the Age of Sigmar Slave to Darkness release, so hopefully won't be too far away. Hopefully they don't drag their feet about that one too much. I'm sure there's at least a few Chaos Demon and Chaos Space Marine players who want to get their hands on the new kit. It's a pretty relevant one for Chaos Space Marines, and I'd be surprised if it isn't at least somewhat useful for the Demons. Next up we have Codex Chaos Demons itself. Pricing at the normal codex price of £32.50, €42.50 or $55, plus the more expensive limited edition book, if you want a subtly different shiny cover. Games Workshop have shown us plenty of previews over the last week or so, plus we've had plenty of leaks from the Demon Discord and Wallace's YouTube channel. The denizens of the Dark Gods will be getting those Demon Invul saves that can't be modified. This fun new Warp Storm table that allows whole army benefits depending on how strong the winds of the warp blow. And I'm sure it'll be giving an absolutely massive power buff to the Chaos Demons, which are one of the weakest armies in 40k at present. Games Workshop did seem to intentionally leak this contents page in their preview video for the Codex, so we do have a pretty rough idea of what we're going to expect. This one shows the different rule sections from the Demons Codex. As with every Codex, it's got the lore, background, miniature galleries and crusade sections, though I must admit I'm more interested in the way that the actual Demons army will play. There's a section on detachment abilities and datasheet abilities, probably things like the automatic deep strike that they're rumoured to be getting, plus the way that their new demon invuls work with not being able to be modified and different versions in combat and in melee. There's a page or so for warp storm effects, the different abilities that you can pay for with a bunch of unique ones for each chaos god. And then interestingly, and a bit different to most of the rest of the codexes, most of the codex is then split between the four different chaos gods plus a section for Chaos Undivided. There's like the Book of Corn and the Book of Slanesh and stuff. 
in each of those mini subsections. Each army will get their warlord traits, relics, stratagems, and psychic powers. Interesting that it looks like basically every single stratagem in the book will probably be god specific now, besides those disciples of Belakor ones. Obviously, Korn doesn't have a psychic section. Kind of a bit sad that he doesn't have any sort of section to replace that, but perhaps his heralds will do something a bit more interesting and different for buffing his blood letters. Each section of the Codex, besides Chaos Undivided, also has exalted traits for their unique greater demons. These are rumoured to be the points cost upgrade in the Chaos Demons Codex, so you're likely to pay an extra few points for your Celeste to keep us of secrets to have different abilities over and above Warlord traits and relics. The Unaligned section is kind of interesting, it's called the Book of the Warp. It's got Belakor himself, the Demon Prince of Chaos and the Soul Grinder. I guess for the Prince of Chaos and the Soul Grinder, you'll probably have to dedicate them to one of the gods. That unaligned section also has the Noctic Discipline, and the rules for Belakor's own Army of Renown and the stratagems for it. Kind of cool that they're including that in the book, in the same way as they did with the Free Blade Lance in the Imperial Knight's Army. Then there's a few interesting things on the datasheets. Quite a lot of datasheets have been collated from various different sources, as the Chaos Demons were really fragmented before. I think one of the only new things for the book is that there's a Skull Altar datasheet for the Demons of Corn. I think that was previously in a Vigilus book, but that was a really long time ago, so interesting that that's going to be coming back as a fortification. Otherwise, unless I'm reading wrong, I think there's five different datasheets for Celeste Chariots, which I must admit does seem kind of overkill. There's the Hell Flayer, and then the Exalted and the Regular Seeker Chariot, and then there's also the option for the Celeste Herald on either the Exalted or the Regular Seeker Chariot. Kind of interesting that they've decided to condense the multiple different Bloodthirster datasheets down into one datasheet, but they've massively expanded the Slanesh Chariot things. Otherwise, Chaos Furies do appear to be gone indeed from the book. They aren't in the Unaligned section, sadly. Kind of a shame, seeing as they did release those Warcry miniatures, which I thought would be a great stand-in for them. And also, and maybe slightly disappointingly, they don't have those twin Keeper of Secret demons, Sinessa and Dexessa, that they released for Age of Sigmar. I did honestly think that they'd probably release them for 40k, or at least rules for them. They are basically just Chaos Demon characters, quite fun miniatures as well, so I didn't see why they didn't include a datasheet for them. Seems they're going to be just locks to Age of Sigmar though, at least for the moment. In any case, I'm really looking forward to reviewing the book in its entirety. I guess we'll be getting some more leaks and previews over the week. Hopefully that should mean that the full rules for the book will be out this weekend, and I'll get a review out as soon as I can. Next up, as mentioned in a previous video, Chaos Demons are going to be getting their own combat patrol. I think this one seems like a real mixed blessing, it seems absolutely amazing for Korn players, but maybe less good for the other gods. It should be £90, €120 Euros, or $150, coming alongside the Codex rather than further down the line, which is nice. And you get a Bloodmaster, 20 blood letters, 10 flesh hounds, and 3 blood crushers, so a rather generous and hefty amount of Korn goodness. The flesh hounds are relatively recent miniatures plus it's quite nice to see some heavy cavalry. Savings wise, at least on the face of it, the box does seem pretty great to be honest. $123 worth of savings compared with separately. That equates to a roughly 46% saving compared with what Games Workshop would charge you for these separately, which is far better than most combat patrols that they sell. Perhaps the only disappointing thing is that it is just corn demons, so it won't help out all Chaos Demon players. At the moment, the Slanesh and the Zinch one still appear to be on sale, though in different places around the world their supply does seem to be kind of limited. The Nurgle start collecting box has completely gone, so hopefully those Zinch and Slanesh ones stick around for the future, though I think that there's always the possibility that they might get pulled at some point. Overall though, if you're starting Corn Demons, it seems like a pretty solid pickup to be honest. I'm not sure if you'd necessarily want multiple copies of it though, due to those excessive amounts of Flesh Hounds, which you might not realistically want 20 of. Getting back to the Chaos Marines, I think we've got about the most anticipated kit that they had coming out altogether, these nice new Possessed miniatures. They're a fair bit bigger than the previous ones were, really quite nice models that seem to have gone down very well with the community, and of course they've got rather big bad in-game rules with a fast movement and a good generalist damage profile. They're going to be £35, €45 Euros, or $60 for the five of them. Perhaps not super super amazing in terms of dollars per point, but I do feel like these are going to be quite popular. I suspect that quite a lot of Chaos players were holding out for these and quite wanting to get them on the board. Should be good for Word Bearers players in particular. If the standard possessed weren't quite possessed enough for you, then also there's these accursed cultists. The Dark Gods don't seem to be quite as careful with the helpful mutations on these, they just seem to go a bit wildfire on the mortal followers. You get eight of these freaks in a box. £30, €40, Euros, or $50. 
and it doesn't look like the Chaos Torments are going to be separately, they're all just in one kit. They are quite fun models, though do cost a fair bit for a relatively cheap troops choice. I believe it's just the 70 points for the 8 of these guys, so at $50 that's quite a lot for that privilege. They do have pretty fun 40k rules though, I quite like the way that they can just randomly regenerate models each turn. It really might punish your opponent for killing some of them, but not all of them. I have made a full unit review on these guys and the Chaos Possessed. If you do want to give either of those a search, I think that they both have the potential to be strong. Next up we've got the Chaos Demons Dice, £24, €31, Euros, €50 or $38. As always, I do feel that Games Workshop charges a pretty massive premium for their dice, though they are quite chunky and have quite a nice feel, and look very themed with a nice 8-pointed star. Seems that the data cards are delayed for the Chaos Demons, they're not going to be dropping at the same time as the Codex. I suspect that the data card pack is going to be fairly chunky with all the god-specific psychic powers, and to be 4 disciplines including Noctic. Finally, there's also going to be a bunch of made-to-order classic miniatures coming back for a limited time only. Games Workshop does seem to do this at the release of each book. Interestingly, not all of these are resin. I believe that the Horrors and the Flamers are probably going to be metal miniatures, judging by what they've said. They didn't explicitly say that they were metal, but they said the rest were resin, and the release in its entirety will be some resin and some metal. Overall, there's these five classic horror sculpts, the three twisted flamer sculpts, this old beast of Nurgle in resin, the old version of Karanak, and the old version of the Mask of Slanesh. They do have literally all of these available in plastic on their web store. I'd say for the most part, the newer sculpts tend to be better than the old ones in my opinion. I think the horrors are quite fun though. And maybe if you're going for a bit more of a retro vibe to your army, they could be interesting. Depending on just how much they charge for that resin beast of Nurgle as well, it might well be cheaper than the current plastic one, which is charged at a pretty extortionate price for how much they cost in game. And that just about brings it to a head. Let me know what you think of these Chaos releases down in the comments below, and feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics if you'd like to see a full review of the Demon's book. Finally, as mentioned previously, if you'd like to be entered in the draw for that Heresy box set, then feel free to check out either the Patreon page or the Facebook page. They're both linked down in the video description below. If you do want to check out the Patreon page, there are a bunch of other benefits of being a member, seeing certain tactics videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things come next, the chance to have your name in the video credits, and plenty of other things, including entry to these monthly prize giveaways each and every month. Feel free to check it out if you're interested, it's linked down below. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.